Hi, this is going to be a guide on how you can use Ancestry, so I'm just searching Maud Bruce's name in public member trees and I found her public member tree which is great, it's got lots of great sources. So here's the 1901 source census for Maud Bruce and I'm just saving that to my computer and I'm doing the same for the 1911 census and all of the other sources that I found on this uh, public member tree. Now before you get to this stage of actually downloading all of the sources you do need to be pretty sure that this is the person who you're researching and I was at this point. I knew that this was my Maud Bruce. After you've downloaded all the sources on the public member tree, if there is a public member tree you can go and search all records and see if there's anything else that was maybe missed off that public member tree um, and this is really helpful because it puts in the filters um, that you've already got on this on the public member tree uh, so it narrows down your results and I'm just here searching for an incoming passenger list for Maud Bruce um, and seeing if this Maud Bruce is my Maud Bruce and in a couple of seconds I think I find out that this wasn't the Maud Bruce that I was looking for but this is just a good uh, exercise in just checking things so if you see a source and you're not 100% sure whether it's your Maud Bruce or another person with that and same name then you can just click on it, check, and I saw here that my uh, this this Maud was travelling with people who I knew um, the Maud who worked at Gretna didn't have any connections with, so I was pretty sure that this wasn't my Maud Bruce, and I just went through all of these results um, and checked checked each one to see if they were the Maud Bruce that I was looking for. And as you can see here, there are loads of search filters. You can add in events, birth, marriages, deaths, where they lived. Um, you can put in middle names, last names, uh, add in fathers, mothers, siblings, uh, keywords, so Gretna. And you can focus your collection on a particular country, so UK and Ireland or Scotland. Um, and then this comes up with all the results for Maud, Ella, none. Um, and then you can search through those results as well. So here I found the probate calendar, which was already on that family member tree, but if there wasn't a family member tree for Maud, um, and I was just searching all of the results, this would be a really valuable piece of information, a really valuable piece of the puzzle to Maud's life. Um, and as you can see, there are lots of different kind of Ellen, Kathleen Mauds, and who probably aren't the Mauds that we're looking for today. Um, but you can always just kind of go through, check, um, that's what I always like to do anyway, just make sure, if you're unsure, double check and um, see if you can find anything else about Maud. And this is me just looking for all results for Maud. Um, so as you can see, her family person tree comes up and uh, there are lots of Maud Bruce's and Maud Ellen Bruce's and Ellen Maud Bruce. But this is a really great way to just maybe catch some things that maybe one family tree has missed. Um, and you might find that another family tree that somebody's put up has got far more sources than the first one you looked at. Um, so yeah, it's a great way to kind of uh, streamline your research. However, as I said in our training sessions, there are going to be people that you'll be researching who don't have these family trees. And unfortunately, or fortunately, in terms of if you just fancy being the first person to discover all of this cool stuff about them, you can just go on Ancestry and go on Search All Records and put the same search filters in, so the name, date of birth if you have one, um, that kind of thing, and just find out more about them.